Hashem. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rabakudash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Inshallah, to the one third of Yasharala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into uh, the differences between religion and the Bible. This video is going to be called Religion. You're doing it wrong. So, I've gone ahead and posted up this video here of just some of the, uh, the antics that happen yearly during the time of uh, spring and summer when you got a lot of these new uh, people looking for a summer body or a good workout body. They uh, basically swarm in on, the, uh, on these gyms. And one of the funny side effects is that you get to see what it looks like when people do things, <laughs> when people do things and not understand how to use them, right? They don't have the understanding of how to properly do things, right? And the reason why I bring this up in today's lesson is because religion is very much like this, right? You have a lot of men in it. Because they want to, you know, pick up women, you know. You got guys who want to see, seek some type of salvation. They know that it's important, but they don't know understand why. So they go and they like this guy here, and like they try their best, and they end up not doing it right, right? They're they're freaking using a a freaking weight, a, a, a dumbbell as a freaking karate stick instead of instead of uh, to lift weights. Or they're just asleep at the job like this guy. Now, religion, it's, you know, as, as, as by itself is not bad, right? Because when you have something that's out there trying to help motivate you, steer you in the right direction, you know, how can that be bad? Right? Well, I'll tell you. You see... Religion tricks everybody into believing that things like this, what this guy was just doing with his neck curls, or what this guy's doing here is actually helping you, or is healthy for your body, right? That's actually going to give you uh, some type of muscles and stuff, right? But you know, a lot of this is why, whenever we're out here on these streets, learning uh, or, or talking about the Bible, you'll have, you know, you'll have countless number of people walk up to us. And just because they've heard a precept here, or, or they heard a scripture there, or they happen to memorize one one passage, they, they swear they're Bible scholars, right? Because, you know, they're here, you know, doing doing this at, at the gym, right? The spiritual gym, which is like the Bible and, the, and that church. And they think they're out here able to uh, compete against against uh, the prophets of the Lord who are out here, you know, talking about the Bible meditating on it day and night going through scriptures you know while they're here playing fucking fucking you know bull crap at these churches right they're gonna they end up uh, looking like these guys here in, the, in this video All right but let me get get into a uh, the scripture this is Isaiah 29 and, and 12 it says is like so is there 29 12 and the book was delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not I am not learned. Wherefore the Lord says, For for as much as this people for as much as these as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. And that's exactly what's happening, right? These people who are who are in these churches, they've uh, they've let their fear of God be taught by the precepts of men. All this right here, right? The the uh, uh, the greeting, the image of Cesare Borgia on, on on the chest, these Id idolistic freaking altars at the front. These little ceremonies of, of doing the cross on your chest. None of this is in the in the Bible, people. 
when I when I came into this, I was wondering where all this came from, right? This is all this is all um, precepts taught by men. It, t- it tells you here in Colossians two and eight. It says, "Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai." And that's exactly what these people have done, right? They, these people have been spoiled through the philosophy of men, right? Through the rudiments of, of, of the world, right? The, the, the rudiments that say you got to go and you got to be part of a group and you got to sit in a, this aisle, right? And you got to sing and, and, and the better you sing, the better your chances are going to be. This, this right here is religion, people. This is not the Bible. Bible has nothing to do with this right here and then it's not only in in like in Catholic it's church you know here in America it's it's across the world right here's a here's a Catholic uh, I believe it's a Catholic or a Pentecostal um, mass you know amongst a bunch of Moabites or uh, Ammonites right they're here because this is what they told they've been told they have to do Hardly any of these people have read the Bible or actually probably own a Bible. These people over here in India, they've been led astray, right, by their own teachings. They're offering light to the gods. This is their this is their uh, lights uh, lights uh, to the god ceremony that they held hold every year on the Ganges River, right? These are the precepts and the rudiments of the world that are taught. Right? Now these people here over in Elam, they they ultimately worship these demons and stuff like that, right? That's you know, but they're heathens and it doesn't really matter what they what they worship. But just to give you an idea, you know, the the same vain uh, philosophies that are taught over here through Christianity, Catholicism, Pentecostalism, all those all these different denominations, they're all witty kind, they're all wicked. It's all religion. It's all tied together just like those people in those videos from early on who were who were using that the the gym equipment wrong right they were doing it wrong because the truth is is that this the bible and and the truth of god isn't isn't something that's going to be made into a a religion uh, a freaking Ritual like this, right? It's it's ultimately reading the Bible and like getting the understanding and speaking with with other fellow Israelites who are the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, because that's ultimately who this who the the Bible was written by, for, and for whom the Bible was written. That's that's who, it's not written for these Moabites. It's not written for these Turkish Coptic priests. Who fucking spin balls in in cups to get what is this? To have a new pope chosen, right? Like this is not not what the Bible tells you. This is not what the other nations tell you. And this is ultimately what's going to be put down once the Lord comes back and He puts His men into 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 power. It's going to be our job to you know, Lord willing, I'm one of them. But it'll be our job or the job of the of the of the 144 to come around. And to to stop folly like this, right? This is not to be done in the kingdom, right? Because look, this is a this right here is a Santeria um, um, ritual, um, you know. And and this right here just shows how bad people have gone off, right? This is this is from the philosophy of men, uh, and these men just happen to be witch, you know, witch doctors and stuff, right? Here's one uh, of these. Uh, people who got caught um, doing this uh, Santeria and they got busted on TV and just look how wicked they are. Livestock animals after and they don't Bear even County realize deputies it. were called out to a ritual involving animal sacrifices. Our Garrett Berger talked to two of the suspects, a married couple, about what the ceremony was and how it was misunderstood. Garrett? Misinformed people. Yes. Robert and Irma Telemontes had both practiced Santeria for nearly three decades. They say they aren't cruel and they aren't criminals. They're just believers in a misunderstood religion. We had the animals 
you know, in, in cages and, you know, inside the bags, but they weren't being abused. The Telemontes say they were among about 30 people who were part of a ceremony for a new member. That involved blood sacrifices to santos, or saints, represented by rocks kept in containers. They cut the animals' jugulars and let them bleed out. We're not beating animals to death. We're not, we're not chopping off legs, you know, while they're still alive. You know, the only one that can complain about the, about cruelty to animals is, is a vegan because, you know, you know, we're killing animals. The group sacrificed a goat, three roosters, a pigeon, and some chickens, and had other animals ready. After ceremonies like this, Talamantes has said they cut the sacrificed animals up to cook up and eat in a ceremonial meal. They say some of that was already happening. The mistake in their eyes wasn't the sacrifices. It was leaving the garage door open for the neighborhood to see. If you're a nudist, you don't go nuding in your front yard, right? You keep it within your home. There were seven santos involved in the ceremony, but before deputies arrived, they were only partway through, so the ceremony still needs to be completed. We're going to complete the ceremony. We're going to complete it. What will you do differently? This is nothing. Nothing the same. I won't have the garage door open. <laughs> so you see, the Talamantes. So there you go, right? See, this is these are those uh, these are the uh, that degenerate root of Israel and also of the world that's going to be weeded out, right? Regardless of what they they think that they're doing, right? Because ultimately, every what all these people are doing, they're out here practicing religion, you know, thinking that they're doing what the Most High wants them to do, right? But they're they're ultimately akin to these people here in this video that have no idea what the heck they're doing here at the gym right just like these people out here practicing religion have no idea what they're doing spiritually so let me go ahead and uh I'll let you watch some of these things here before I get this last scripture so in this last scripture here this just talks about how the Lord's going to go ahead and uh, separate everybody. And this includes separating those who are out here doing the actual work of the Lord, actually doing what he's saying should be done, which is going into the actual Bible, reading it, understanding the truth of it, which is be which is which is what the real blessed uh, baptism is. It's the actual understanding of the Bible, not getting your head dumped in the water. Right? This is on uh, Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the thrones of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations. He shall separate them one from another, and as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and his goats on the left. And then shall the king say unto his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my fathers, inherit the kingdom prepared for you until the foundation, um, from the foundations of the world. For I was, a, for I was, and hungered, and ye gave me meat; and I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. So ultimately, people, this is a, this is a, a, a analogy of what all you so-called believers in the Bible, you Christians, you Catholics, you Pentecostalists, you Mormons, you Jehovah Witnesses, you, uh, you New Testaments, you Old Testaments, you followers of Christ, right? This is, uh, this is, is, is hopefully a, a, a video that you're going to see and you're going to watch and understand that why you need to step away from religion and you just need to get into the actual Bible. That's all you need to do is actually just read the Bible. Stop giving money to these churches, which the Bible tells you tell, tells you against to stay away from these churches and to not be taught by these rudiments of men. Or else you're going to end up like like people like this, right? Not even knowing, not even knowing what to do with the, with this truth of the Bible. So. That next time, Akiam, double honors to the teacher, my teachers, the apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who are the Negro Latinos, Native Americans, and Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai.